Hey there, we are pretty excited right now. Yeah, our YouTube channel has finally caught up with our current location, Fiji. Finally. And the video you're about to watch is the highlights or the best bits of our crossing from Sydney to Denerel. Yes, we already posted three videos on that earlier on, uh, starting on episode 45. Yeah, 45, 45. So if you want more detail on what that crossing was like, you can go back there and watch all three videos. Otherwise, Bula! You! And welcome to the tropics. And don't forget to subscribe because the upcoming videos on Fiji spectacular. <laughs> Yeah, the ocean has been good to us. Murray and I met in the surf, two salty souls combined. We got married and did what all married couples do. Bought a sailboat, moved into it, refitted it ourselves and sailed out into the South Pacific for salt water, sunshine and surf. Since then the crew expanded and so did the boat. Smarty speaking, how can I help you? We quit our full-time jobs and are now cruising full-time on our catamaran Rio. We are currently in Fiji. Frosty, let's go somewhere warm. Mm -hmm. The day before your departure. Yeah, day before departure. Ooh. How are you feeling? Equal parts, nervous and excited. Preparing a boat to cross an ocean is no easy thing. Not only does the vessel need to be in A1 condition, there is also organizing your crew, food provisioning, weather reports and waypoints, just to name a few things. Because you're right to the thought of it. And hardest of all, extracting yourself from society and all the intricate ties that hold you to land. Probably the main reason people dream about these trips and never complete them. We are social creatures. We love routine, safety and sleep. Going to sea is none of those things. Border force, check out. I love this. When you leave Australia on a plane, you have to queue up with all the other land lovers at the airport. When you leave on a boat, Border Force comes to you. What's the plan while you're over there? Surf, sail, drink rum. <laughs> all passports checked, papers sighted, vessel cleared for takeoff. In the sailing world, the journey we are about to attempt is a little unusual. 1800 odd nautical miles from Sydney to Denarau, Fiji. That's about 3,400 kilometers. It's unusual because at this time of year, the trade winds blow from east to west. We will be going against the trade winds west to east. Always a much harder sail than cruising downwind while eating cheese and biggies. Hey, casting off there Leaving the dock, here we go. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. Two long weeks at sea lay ahead and the ocean is as unpredictable as she is beautiful. This will also be the first crossing Denham and I have not done together. But we decided it will be too hard on Kaya, so we'll stay here in Sydney and fly into Fiji when the boys get close. There goes Rio. 
guys are gone, Kai and I are homeless. It's all of our belongings here for the next two weeks. So what's the plan, Kaya? Where are uh, we gonna go? We're gonna go on airplane. Not just yet. Where are we gonna sleep? Somebody took our home away. Where are we going to sleep? Mama, where are we gonna go to sleep? Oh, we are gonna go to Nanny Bears. <laughs> and I think we're gonna stay with friends for a few days too. So we'll be hopping until we can join the boys in Fiji. Gateway to Fiji. On board, I have three mates to help me get this done. They are all sailors, so I consider myself pretty lucky. <laughs> Has beside him and Uncle Stringer. You'll get to know them as we go. Our world is now 12 by 7.2 meters. Nothing else matters. We left in a stiff southwesterly, and in no time at all, Sydney was disappearing fast. With the main and screecher set wing on wing or either side of the boat, Rio was clipping along at about 10 knots. It was a great start. Still, we can do better, and I have a full crew. So we handed the screecher and put up the spinnaker. Oh, sweet mama, spinnaker sailing, there is nothing better. First sunset. Pretty good first day, all in all, really. Hooting downwind at between 7 and 14. Ah! We know it won't last, but uh, pretty good start. Pretty stoked. Go Rio. The other thing I loved about this forecast, a full moon for most of the trip. Out here it's like daylight and you can see the waves coming. Full moon especially handy for sail changes that went on through the night. Yeah. We sail the boat 24 hours a day, two man shifts around the clock, although dinner is always a family affair. Yeah, she was like, you can't have sex with me. I, um, I've got to have an operation. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, right, eh? So I did, so then, like, obviously, yeah, she gave, I was like, well, I'll, I'll go, then. <laughs> and then I passed out, because I already had a few beers. This is a tower. And then I um, got up in the morning and just started, like, you know, you know, in the morning, you're like, Oh, I'm pretty, pretty keen, eh? Hey? And then so I was like, this, <laughs> this is like 7 a.m. at the marina. Hatches are open. So I start doing that, and it's like, you know, so I was like, now I'm just gonna see what happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not think that through. Yeah, perhaps Mitch is a little R rated for this channel.
of the second day now. Cracking first day. Holy sh! We got a 17.3 uh, boat speed overnight, running the spinnaker. That's <laughs> a few hours there where it hit 30 knots, true wind speed. Thankfully, we're doing 14, 15 through the water, so that means, you know, 15 to 18 apparent in the sail. Still getting up there, but whew, we were hooting, absolutely hooting. We're far ahead of schedule, doing really well. Boat is looking great. I've got one bilge pump in the starboard engine um, bay that's not working, so I need to fix that or switch it out, but otherwise, everything's running well. Crew seems reasonably happy. Captain's happy. using an Iridium Go satellite system for weather downloads, but it doesn't like large files. So for ease, I've broken the trip up into three parts. Sydney to Lord Howe Island, Lord Howe to Norfolk, Norfolk to Sweet Fiji. We reach Lord Howe in a little over two days. Rio is loving the open ocean. Fish on. Nothing breaks up a sailing trip or sends a bolt of excitement through the crew like the call of fish on and the nervous wait for the lucky dip of the ocean. Mahi mahi. Mm -mm. This is one delicious fish. By now we'd reached a sweet spot. The sailing had been sublime and exciting. Two low pressure systems giving us a perfect angle. Everyone knew the boat and the sails and a routine had formed. Oh yeah. More importantly, we had all forgotten our land based troubles and concerns. Jobs and bills and commitments. For a short time, life is simple. There's just the ocean in all her moods and personalities, the boat and each other. No room, no need for anything else. Have a look at this. <laughs> We're looking along at eight to 10 knots in a 12 knot on the beam, beautiful reach. With about a 1.8 to two meter swell behind us, surfing down waves, oh man. When you're sitting in the office, thinking about open ocean sailing, this is the sh** you dream about. They should have known it wouldn't last. Massively confused. 
Hughes Sea State out here this morning. There's uh, still a two point, I don't know, three swell behind us. There's at least a, well, must be a one and a half directly in front. And then there's another smaller one that's coming with this wind that's right on the beam. So our glory days of running downwind at high speed are over, at least for the time being. We're actually now trying to set up ourselves by running a bit more northeast to get ready for this huge east coast load that's coming in. Down further it's like 6 metre waves, 6.5 metre waves and uh, 30 knot winds, 30 to 40, probably 50s. So uh, we do not want to be where that is. So uh, we're running northeast as fast as we can just to try and take a bit of the sting out of that system and get it on the leading edge up the top and not down in the meat where all the danger is. Tonight, the mahi mahi we caught. A feast. Here we go, a little mahi mahi. Some veggies. Cooked by the pescatarian. <laughs> and for the first time on this trip, Fiji was now our final waypoint. Giddy up. Yeah. You double up, it's getting better. To celebrate, I busted out the picanha and Mari's meat patties. As the wind speed increased, Rio took off, blazing twin tracks across the Pacific. And with everything so smooth and under control, well, we put on a movie. Nobody's gonna be happy with Kate seeing this guy. Yeah. So she's a thumper. Movie afternoon, <laughs> sailing at nine knots for She's never worked cases. Been kicking doors since day one. All of us remember this day vividly. Not just for the sailing, but the cracking sunset. Sunrise and sunset are always special at sea, but this one was a showstopper. What, what you doing out here? No, I was taking it all in. No, <laughs> reminiscing. We've only got three days left. We have a 360 degree sunset today. I don't think you'll ever see this on land. All the way around. Pinks, purples, and the grand finale. Baranja. Look at that. What a belter. The boys were getting excited and so was I. Kai and I had been couch surfing for a week, but now we are on a plane to Fiji hoping to greet the boys as soon as they come in. Here we are, Fiji, here we come. shift can be pretty brutal but wow what a treat to be up at this time of the day out here day eight on our trip from Sydney to Fiji and we are closing in on Vunda Marina fast but we are racing to get ahead of a giant east coast low pushing up into the coral sea 
we know we have some rough days ahead. So we push Rio as hard as we can to minimize the pain that's coming. Yeah, it's pretty good how you're going. Mitch is oh, loving it. Nice, get some big shutters. Just shake the whole boat like this. Yeah. Still better than being on a mono. Oh, Holy oh. Shit. That was a big one. <laughs> So we got to about 200 nautical miles to go, and then boom, we get hit with an east southeast, 20 knots, colliding with the swell that was behind us at about three meters, and it's just turned this entire ocean into a show. Both slamming and rolling, and it's uncomfortable as hell, but uh, we got no choice really but just to push through it. So, hopefully, old Rio holds together and um, we'll get to see that blessed reef pass in Fiji because it is sounding pretty good right now. The wind is now forward of the beam, and we are down to a triple reefed main and head sail. We tried different angles and sail combinations, but in the end, all you can do is grit your teeth. smashed on the side with uh, 20 to 25 knots of wind. We've got three meters of swell behind us so it's making these really peaky waves. We've slowed the boat down as much as we can. Um, yeah, Rio wants to run, which is normally is a good thing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, driving into these peaks feels like the whole boat's gonna shake to bits. So uh, we've reefed it down to a triple reef main and uh, reeled in the head sail to a third and now it's doing like five and a half to six and a half but as you can hear it's pretty violent and I reckon we got probably two days of this to get to the reef pass oh, oh, oh. Wow. At night, the squalls and wind shifts always seem worse than they really are. I checked all the forward bulkheads the next morning. Rio was taking it on the chin, no problem. So, sleep deprived as we were, it seemed like a good idea at the time to have a few shots of rum and get out there. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
this wasn't the best idea. All four of us jumping overboard for a swim mid-ocean, leaving Rio hove to and rolling on the swell. not have been the safest course of action, it sure did change the mood. And sometimes, that's all you need. Same situation, different perspective. We bashed our way onwards, until finally. So what's the news boys? BG. <laughs> Land ho! Spotted at 6.30 this morning. <laughs> bula, bula. All that stood between us and Fiji was a rough ocean, gusty winds and a few squalls. Well, let's have it. All that remained was to navigate the Navula Passage, the main reef pass on the southwest corner of Fiji. Oh. 1145, I'm calling it, we made it to Fiji. <laughs> 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 Good job, Ray. Nice work, Captain. Woohoo! Cheers, Zach. Fiji. So sick. Well done. <laughs> Is she a little bit excited? <laughs> As you can see, I was a bit emotional and very excited. So close. I had been watching their progress on the tracker every day, worried about them and the boats. And finally, here they are. The other sailing mom and her kids, who were also waiting for their boat called This Way Up, came to the marina with me. By now, Kel, Sonny and Charlie had become good friends. All I wanted to do was to give my husband a big hug, but they had to clear quarantine first.
Africa and this is the, that's with the Marina the office. office. Check-in and quarantine in Fiji takes some time. Other than that, Captain, welcome to Fiji. We hope you guys enjoy your stay. Welcome to Arim, Fiji. Enjoy your trip over here. Thank you very much. But finally, I got my hugs from my girls. Yeah, we're on the